I have so many things to say. So much has happened since we last spoke. It's been difficult because every time something goes good for me, the first person I want to share that is with you. I question why I have been denying myself this, why I have been running from my happy ever after. I guess the answer is I was afraid of someone would take that happiness away from me. Everything good always fell apart before. Or maybe this time I blew it on purpose to save myself from the pain of losing you. So I left first, but I still lost you. I know it makes absolutely no sense. I have been figuring all this out on my own, looking at myself in the mirror and asking why I behave the way I do. But I must admit that has not been easy at all. As you know, my ego doesn't like to ever admit I'm wrong or apologize or take responsibility. I know this was so immature, but now I'm seeing and accepting my faults because I'm getting my karma for all that I did. I'm surprised how you dealt with me when I was so wounded and toxic. You are truly very strong soul and also very much forgiving. You have been so patient and kind always there in my darkest moments. I feel ashamed that in your difficult times I have left you alone in the battlefield and this only shows how selfish I was and how selfless you were. You were always there for me and when you needed me the most, I was nowhere to be found. I was giving my time and energy to the meaningless bullshit. This keeps me up at night. I was listening to other people who were in my group. In actual, I was a villain, but I projected and villainized you. You made me feel the best, but I made you feel the worst. Why did you ever love me? You are such a pure-hearted and loyal person. Why did you choose an a toxic, selfish and dishonest person like me? How? You could be so real. This was my fear back then. I felt like somehow I was being tricked. Love like what you give me so freely and genuinely can't be real. But time and situation has shown me what's real. I have discovered the truth. I regret doubting your love. Now, you are the only thing I'm sure about. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I know it will because I will take the responsibility. I will take action. I will apologize first and mend our beautiful connection. Your unconditional love restored my faith and I'm learning to let go of the details and confusion. Subscribe for more upcoming channeling. Thank you dear soul family.